<clears throat> Surf's up, hang loose. You're in station Surf Blue. Let's see what we got this year. I mean, this year. This. I did pick up one game July in a Hot Wheel. I think it was a couple Hot Wheels. And I picked up this a couple days ago. So, I had to hook my PlayStation 4 up because my Xbox 360 died on me. So now I gotta play all the games over again to save them. But, <clears throat> Dishonored 2, I thought I started that game. Maybe it was another Dishonored. And I have to start it all over again. Uh, these are. I'm in the middle of that. And the middle of Prey, I think. I, I gotta see. Some of this was saved. And then Far Cry, and then. I like this game. Deuce. So, those are the games loaded up. So, that's saying that, and my snack today was chips and dip and A&W root beer. I usually get a snack of the day, but I can't show you because I threw the chips bag out. So, anyways, it's... So, anyway, I'm going to show you this picture. This is, yes, this is me. And I bought a Mitsubishi Galant. Actually, I liked it. And you can see the knot on my throat. I had to take that out. That was cancerous. I don't know if you saw that or not. I got wide shoulders. I used to use the spring a lot. So, that's me. Hey, I bought a car, get a free drink. Oh, what a good deal. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but no, they gave me a free drink. It's way down yonder. Of course, it was a bottle of Coke being in Georgia. So, that's saying that. Let's get on with the stuff. Oh, went to the pawn shop. Like I say, I bought this for 10 bucks. Soul Caliber. Graphics are great. Then, same uh, was it, Thursday, same place, I got Batman and Family Fun Pack. I was, I'm playing Scrabble. Got to chill out, you know. And, uh, let me put this up here. So that's what's in the system. Uh, so that was... Eight bucks, those two. And this the one thrift store was two dollars, so I grabbed it. It's complete. With the case, I gotta replace the case. Um, <clears throat> these four, I paid twenty-four bucks. He didn't. He uh, reduced some of the prices. And this is complete. Dishonored 2. Like I said, I had this loaded up. Marvel Superheroes Lego. And this is still going for 20 bucks. And uh, GameStop has it for 30 something. So, right there, I can turn around. I can turn around and sell that, but I might be playing it. So, it's 24 bucks. So, not bad on that. Let's go with Hot Wheels. Picked up Hot Wheels. Uh, I did I did show you this, I think. Or maybe I didn't, I don't know. So I'm showing you it again. And then off-road. Can't remember where I picked those up. And small little Batman. Classic TV series. And this, I got a thrift store for three bucks. I thought it was a pretty good deal because I sure think I did see it for six dollars. 
This is a Solar Eagle 3. I thought it was kind of cool. So that's, that's pretty cool. So, those are my finds on the Hot Wheels. Then I went to a thrift store. <laughs> and they had some light bulbs. Uh, I, I did get a few other stuff. The Xbox 360 game came with this in Buford, the thrift store. I had to go down Costco, take some batteries back, uh, chargers for the cell phone. They had a recall, but hey, for $2, four pack. So, can't be that. <laughs> then, oh uh, yeah, picked up a sealed Rio Bravo. John Wayne D. Martin, Ricky Nelson. Don't know Ricky Nelson, he was a rock star. <clears throat> Sealed Magnificent Seven, two bucks, and Lord of the Rings Return of the King for two bucks. And the discs are nice. I think they, if I'm not mistaken, I think they seal, I mean, redo these discs. This the thrift store. When I go to St. Francis, sometimes their video games come out. On uh, Tuesday. Okay, and then I picked some car. I picked up a car for buck fifty. I like this card. Robert Elmar. I don't know if you can see. You put the light to it. It's a little bit better. And a pack of 1999 cards, so I'll open those last. Then on to the comic books. And stupid me put this comic book in wrong. Man, is it decreased in the corner, but it was two bucks. Rebirth of Aquaman Superman. I'm not a big new, new stuff, but Aquaman and Superman fighting, uh, I had to give it a whirl. Then, it says 10 bucks, I paid seven, because I know the guy. World Finest, I thought that was a pretty good find. It's a little rough here and there. This was rough, but for 25 cents, I picked it up. So, there's that. And, picked up for two bucks at Wizards. I like the cover on that one. Night Watch, number three. So, that's the comic books. And here's the magazines that I thought was kind of cool. It's always cool to find these magazines out and about. I enjoy looking at them and read them. And they had a. Uh, trying to pick them up. There's five of them. When I first saw them, I told him I want them. So he, he was holding them for quite a while. Let me move stuff around. Okay, let's go with. Let's go by February. March, there's another March, there's another February, and August. Okay, we're going. All right, cartoon, 1970, February. And maybe one day I'll do a video on this and show you uh, oh, what's inside. Sometimes they drew the fans drew and sent them in to publish it in the cartoon magazine. So uh, there's some 
nice looking drawings. Uh, wait, this is says UK three out of six. Wait a second, are you serious? I have to look that up. That might be American. This is UK. That's UK. I, I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I have to do some research. I did not do any research. So, interesting. Anybody knows, they could probably comment down there. I just saw that. I just didn't pay attention. This must be the American. March 1970, 35 cents. I wish we can go back to those days. And here's a March. It says UK of 3.6. So, um, maybe the next one I'll pull out and check it out. 1970, March. Let me open one up. Check it out. Interesting. Here it is. August 1970. Uh, let me get my glasses. Oh no, this was published in Sunset Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. But why do they have the UK on it? I'm going to have to do more research then. Because that's interesting. Why they had a UK 4 slash O. Maybe a uh, gray man can help me out. But here's, they have the little shorts, funny shorts and stuff of the. And later on, they went to color, of course. But they're little fun reads. Let me see if I can find the drawings. I don't know if they had any back in oh, Maybe they did. Nope, not these. Huh. Like I say, I gotta look for all mine. I know I got some. So anyways, I thought that was a cool find. I'm glad he hold them for me. He, like I said, these are cool little stories. Some are funny and yeah, of course you got a few. It'll be boring. So anyways, that's pretty cool. So I promised you we're going to open up Base 19, I, I saw a few shows of this, I saw a little bit more of Star Trek, but it still has the gum, you can see, so here we go, let's see if it's all okay, I probably just depreciate it when I open it, but who cares, life goes on, uh oh. Yeah, here's the gum. Here's the guy I follow picking up. Oh. And it's. Ooh, this card. I follow a guy that opens up retro cards. And, uh. He chews the gum, but I don't think he would chew this. But don't ask me why. And then he goes, oh, it's stale. <laughs> well, of course it is. <laughs> it ruined this card. Can you see it? Okay. I wish I could find the Planet of the Apes. I always liked the Planet of the Apes. Here's another card for Space 1999. And there's five cards in this. This is cool. One with the ships. 
there's a puzzle in the back you can put together. I don't know if you guys, some of you old whippersnappers remember that. So that's kind of cool. Had to grab them. So I'm going to have to put those in sleeves. So hope you like the little finds. Nothing spectacular. Well, that's spectacular. Sorry, there's no fireworks or anything. Oh, where? So, anyways, it's too bad I don't have Soul Calibur in that so we can play it. But I'm going to let you go. It's past 15 minutes until we meet again. I'm hoping I have some good finds. Who knows? You never know with me. <laughs> Enjoy life, hang loose, until we meet again, surf's up.